Welcome back. Our softball sports night continues. It's mind-blowing how many dominant teams we have in Sin Law. And when you talk about one of the best, I'm sure the Montgomery Tigers will be at the top or very close to top of your list. Joining us now is head coach Paige Grayson and the seniors, Bradley Crayon and Ella Bruyette. Welcome to the show. Yay. Thank you for having us. Yeah, all right, Briley, we got to talk about it. The elephant in the room, your 600 yes. strikeout. Um, talk to me about how that feeling was and would you ever thought it would have happened? Um, no, I definitely didn't think it would have happened as a freshman, but coming into this year, I knew how many I had last year, so I had it in my notes of each game of each year, and I really wanted to hit 600 by the end of my senior year, so I was happy. Now, Coach, I know we've known each other for a good while here, and yes, I know how I happy did. it was when you won your first title a couple of years ago. I know last year um, was a tough one, but you have the hashtag, ring chasing. Right, so just right. talk to me about that mindset and coming into this season with that. You know, our goal every year is just to make that trip to Sulphur. And, you know, anybody that's been down to Sulphur during that time just knows that that's a totally different season. It's a totally different atmosphere. Just to get there, you know, can be anybody's game. So th that's the same thing we're approaching playoffs this year get to that next game, get to that next game, and, and stay on that road to Sulphur. Now, I noticed that Sulphur is such a wild experience. I got to experience it for the first time last year, and I don't think I was even ready for it. And I know for <laughs> both of y'all, I know it's probably an insane right. experience. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that first experience a few years ago, and were you like, what? <laughs> Go ahead. I remember definitely, like, being a baby at the time, but um, <laughs> it was very scary at first. Um, we talk about a thing a lot is the surge that it is when the game first starts. Both teams have big crowds and they're going to be yelling at you and you have to perform while all those people are screaming at you. So it's definitely like heart racing, but it's it, it's fun in the end. It just yeah. takes a while for the surge to go down. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like knowing that y'all set that standard that man is so for a bus now? I mean basically mm -hmm. every year you're expected to go there. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> It's pressure. I mean, yeah. it is pressure. Um, our community and our town does a good job of getting behind us in our program. And, you know, they expect greatness from us. But we also understand that greatness doesn't come without hard work. And these girls get in there every day. You know, they're in the weight room. They're in the batting cage. They're on the field. They're working, you know. And they know what it takes. And so. So the bracket, we talked about the brackets. I know that you see very familiar teams in your bracket, of course, just yeah. like your district is cutthroat. Right. Do you feel as though every district game is literally like you're in Sulphur because you have played LaSalle, yes. you've, you've played yeah, Logansport. Definitely. Like, Our district games are definitely high intensity. Yeah. Um, you know, we're playing top-notch competition when we play in our district because we're going to turn around and likely see another one of those teams in the playoffs at some point. Um, so yes, it's it's high level, it's high intensity in our district. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna get a little personal with the girls here for a minute. So <laughs> let's talk about y'all's favorite softball player and also your fondest memory okay. out there on the on the field. Mm, go Ella. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd have to say my favorite softball player is. We're talking about on our team or in general? Just in general, like if you, because I know college softball is huge, and just like it is in women's college basketball, and everyone has their their favorite player, like, you know, a lot of people say that, you know, Angel Reese is their favorite basketball player, yeah. so, yeah. Um, mine's definitely Taylor Pleasance. I love her. She, all her posts on Instagram are always great and very <laughs> encouraging, and I just love the woman that she is, so. Mm -hmm. Have you met her in person? I have not, but okay. I did get to watch her play, so that was, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, what about you? I would say Jordy Ball. I okay. think she's very resilient, and I love, I love how free she is as a pitcher, and she has so much confidence. I'll just, uh, I try to be like that myself. Who has the best impression of Coach Page? Oh, no. oh gosh. Definitely Briley. Yeah, I'll say <laughs> Go ahead. Stop. Can we hear it? <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, my gosh. There's too many. Um, <laughs> there's too many. <laughs> that's why we're going to lose. You play like that, that's why we're going to lose. <laughs> if this is how you play, practice this is how you're going to play. And if you want to practice like that, we're going to lose. Pretty much. <laughs> when I see her... Like just sit on the bucket really bad. I can't oh. just like I'm, I try not to. Not laugh. a time I to talk to her. I can't. Uh, I can't. Just pitch the ball. Just pitch the ball. <laughs> mm -hmm. But for both of you, say you're say I guess like kind of imagine you're in Sulphur right now. Who would you want to be in that final game with? Well, I think me and Bradley both have different mm. opinions. I personally want it to be Lasalle just because. Yes. Love that competition, <laughs> and I always love that game that I play. I always have the most fun playing them. So. Okay. I definitely. I either Lasalle or French Settlement. Definitely. I want my my game back. So yeah. yeah. You want that. Yeah. You want that revenge. Yep. Back. Yes, I definitely do. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So. 
I guess, what are what are some memories? I know both of y'all are seniors. Mm -hmm. Do you have any that kind of stick out for you? I know that as a softball team, you're together all the time. But do you have any that kind of stick out for you? Obviously, winning the state championship my sophomore <laughs> year. I mean, that's a big one. Um, beating LaSalle twice. Yeah, really fun. Um, I know that we obviously had not beat LaSalle before, but that, that final just like getting over that hump of uh, beating LaSalle for that district, for that district uh, game, it was it was awesome. That was like my favorite game we've, I've ever played. Well, we hope to see you, if not next week, in Sulphur. <laughs> so, but thank you for joining the show.